Getting the genius within. Talk about that part, because I really love your explanation of how it feeds the cell and regenerates and, and for illness, radiation, mm. but the brain, let's talk nah. about its direct effects Truly. on the, what you call the genius within. Correct. And that's another major differentiation of this blend of algae versus a single, say, uh, spirulina or blue-green algae. Uh, a very small amount, literally a gram of this food can impact uh, the life of a bull, of an elephant, within 20 minutes. Mm. You don't have to take spoonful of it. So what, uh, what is the explanation that a small capsule within, within overnight will allow for a five-year-old autistic boy mm. to button his shirt on Saturday morning after taking a capsule on Friday night? Wow. How what? do we explain that? Yeah. It's not that this small amount of food goes to every mitochondria in the body. It's, it's not computable that way. It's that because of the but presence. Before you say that, I just want to say I took one of the uh, before, and I feel a lot of clarity. Mm -hmm. I feel like mm -hmm. there's a sharpness and a focus that I, I don't normally have. Yeah. But, um, it, it absolutely, you're, you're, not, <laughs> think, you're not placeboing here. I this don't is think true. So. Yeah. I'm just noticing as yeah. you're talking, wow, I'm really present and it's, feeling. It's bright, eh? Yeah. It is. <laughs> okay. So tell me what happens. Yeah. Well, anyway, d his name is Doogie. That's one of many cases. Mm -hmm. Button is sure. Of course, he knew how to do it, but you know, an autistic child has to be coaxed. There, they don't want to participate. He was also more social mm -hmm. in the park, playing with other kids that morning. And his mother came to see us on the on the Sunday following, with tears of joy, sharing with us. And to this day, Doogie, now nine years later, has continued to progress to speak more words, to ride a bicycle, which he is... He takes the algae uh, every day. Uh, he loved it, and he knows it, and he's very smart, and he's a normal school mm -hmm. class. So what's <laughs> happening in the brain with this? Cor so yes. the, uh, extra. that's why we call the book Awakening the Genius Within. Mm -hmm. It sounds lofty, but it's pretty uh, scientifically... No, I think it's great, because yeah. everyone has a genius in within, except well, we haven't cultivated it. So let's talk about what Dr. Kiriak means by the genius within and, and my understanding yeah. is that this food has a, an efficiency because of the, not only the chlorophyll, but the chain of carotenoid, lutein, lycopene, they're all, we now know that they're all partners with chlorophyll and chlorophyll A and B. I know it's a little biology here, but it's called the energy transfer funnel. They facilitate bringing the sugar, the fats, the protein to the mitochondria mm -hmm. as, as partners in that. And, and you've all heard of the blood-brain barrier or right. the blood-retinal barrier, for example, which is basically a diminution of uh, capillaries or small vessels to, f to bring blood because these areas are protected. Mm -hmm. They're so critical to life that our body has developed a protection. We call it blood-brain barrier. Literally, because there's less blood going there, it only tolerates very tiny molecule and perfection. Right. Right? So right. no poison is allowed to go to the hypothalamus, which is what the genius within is. The hypothalamus is that principal organ in, at the base of our brain, along with, you've heard of the pituitary, the master gland, that regulate homeostasis in our body, which is the balance of hormone the balance of all our glands, the balance even of our organs, liver, pancreas, uh, certainly kidney. By the way, kidney that people don't realize are the organ that synthesize vitamin D, which is an hormone. We may talk about that later. So not only that relationship between the hypothalamus and every organ gland in the body. But so we have now the perfect food we able to reach mitochondria without any uh, burden or fatigue because there's no fiber to break. This is pure nutrients. That's the first rule. And subsequently, because of the presence of these carotenoids and the per perfect uh, chlorophylls, able to cross the blood-brain barrier. Because when you consume a capsule or a meal of any sort, it is broken down into a blood uh, vessel after being filtered by the liver, and it's released in thousands of miles of blood vessel and capillary. Mm -hmm. And it is transported at very high speed. Every cell and tissue and organ has access to those, uh, this cloud of nutrients, because at this level, it's no longer food, right? It's molecules. It's quasi-above-atomic. Right. 
And, and so, because of the perfection and the presence of the, all the cofactors and the companion to our sugars, fats, because we need those, mm -hmm. that's where we get our, 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 our energy from, it's from sugar mostly, right. reaching thus that anterior part of the hypothalamus, the genius, the conductor of our philharmonic orchestra, mm -hmm. which is often sleeping at the podium with aging, with, with deficiency. This, this feeds the hypothalamus in correct, a way correct, that many correct, foods can't. Correct, correct, rapidly. Uh -huh. and, and upon the ingestion, as it's, as it's more functional, it wakes phrase. up. Yeah, it's like kicking the hypothalamus on the shin. <laughs> Ouch! <laughs> Do your job, Mr. Maestro. Tap on the podium. Wake up the drummers. Mm. So that's what it's so about. It's good for like maybe Alzheimer's, brain fog, and did you uh, what you said uh, um, autism, autism, yeah. and because your brain is functioning at a higher potential. Well, not part? just the brain. At, if you can reach that hypothalamus, then the cascading resulting effect of the brain engaging more with the pancreas. Mm. 